Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Growing Clip Bonsai for Seniors. It's still January 5th of 2022. It's around 8 p.m. When I recorded the temperatures, it's 12 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 11 degrees Celsius, and we have a brutal wind chill out there, which gives us a minus 6 Fahrenheit or minus 21 degrees Celsius. So the wind's whipping around like crazy out there. So today, I got a sad point set. I got it from the store. It was in the section that looked like a Charlie Brown point set because it was five bucks, and I don't know if they were trying to get rid of it before Christmas because it wasn't pretty good. So I just grabbed it and figured, what the heck? Let's give it a little rescue and see what happens. So I'll show you what the point set looks like. And here it is. It's not much to look at. Look at. Well, let's see if we can do something with it. And I'm going to seal the wounds with some uh, lipstick that my niece gave me. It's called Midnight Blue. Let's see what the heck it looks like. So that'll be a good Christmas color. Didn't have red, so that's life. <laughs> what are you going to do? So I got my... my uh, Four swept bonds I saw, we're going to use that. And I found I still have a little leftover Christmas pot that I made. So we'll put it in, in the Christmas pot. So I don't know, maybe this can be the front. Well, we'll see how the tree develops. I like the little cardinal on there. But let's get started. Let's get the tree out of the pot. Because it's in a lot of soil. But I don't know what the root structure is on it. It's always good to try and rescue plants. But there's a lot of stores that still have them for full price. So this one is in there pretty good. It looks like they buried the living daylights out of it with the soil. Because it's really deep inside the pot. There we go. I don't know if you can see it better. Let's put it here so you can see a little bit better what I'm doing. And that's how it looks. I mean, it's really, it's all in, looks like it's just grown in peat moss. I don't know if there's a, even a root structure on here. But let's just take the soil off. And as you can see, this is all that's left of it. I mean, the roots look pretty good, but it still has that that uh, uh, pot on there that they stuck stuck it in to root it. So let me get rid of this out of the way. All this sphagnum. All this peat moss. It's not sphagnum moss, but it's just peat. So, let me get all my junk out of the way. I still have some Asus left. I gotta still order it, but it's. I gotta put that on my list. I got my Asus for the roots. Now, I don't know if we can, right now, before I pot it, I'm gonna take some of these big leaves off, get my peroxide out. take some of these these leaves off because these are leaves the red is the leaf they're saying it's the flower it's not the flower the flowers are the little things that grow in the center there but let's see if we can cut some of this off because right now this is in a looks like a nylon sleeve or a burlap sleeve something that's supposed to deteriorate so if I can get some of it off without hurting all the roots, and it's supposed to, it's supposed to decay by itself. It's probably just a uh, peat pad or something. I don't forget how they made these. But let's get it out of here so we can see how our roots look. 
Yep, it's just it's just more like a a, a, a peat mixture. There we go. We got it off. There's our roots. There's our little base right here. Let's see how it looks. So this is what we, what we got right now. Something like this. So it's still pretty good. Now I'm I'm gonna cut the tops so I can get this to to stay in the pot more. I'm not gonna I'm gonna do it right now because I wanna get it so it stands and keep it a little bit smaller. So what I'm gonna do is take a cutting right right above the node. Here's the node right there. So I'm gonna take a cutting right above the node. Take another cutting above this node. Now wear gloves if and this node and this node. Now what they say is that when the sap drips on the, on the stem, that's when the stem begins to rot. So what I'm going to do is take the midnight blue and really, really coat the cuts because I don't want this to rot or decay and die back. So that's all I'm doing is just like that. Just getting them coated real good. Just like that. It's good to rescue a little plant. Give it some life. Everybody takes all the fancy ones and leave all the pukey looking ones. But this is my little Charlie Brown one. And you can see the nodes. That bright color there, that's the nodes. So hopefully the leaves will come out and branches develop there. So we can try that. Let me put my midnight blue away before I get it all over me. So these I'll put on the side. Maybe I can root them. I'll try it out. Maybe, maybe not. You never know. So put that on the side. Now the roots, let me take and get the peroxide. Now the roots I'll just take back just a little bit. Just the curved roots so we can get it to fan out more. And this is a spindly looking root that didn't look good. This one's growing in the air. So we got some of these roots growing and cut this back just a little bit so we can get it into the pot and this downward one right there. So there's our roots. And that's how our tree looks. I have to get used to the, this side of the camera because I don't know if I'm getting it for everyone to see better or not but okay let's get our pot we'll put our cardinal in the front and I don't know we can have this as a front or this as a front but that's pointing us and towards us so I'm going to keep this as the front so let's get our soil mix Let's put some in the pot. I'm gonna hold down the screen real good because this is a smaller soil, so it's not going to. Uh, it might fall through the holes. So let's get this into the middle more, and something like this, just like that. So I'm going to hold it. Now you're saying, Tom, that's not the front. I know. Let's see if we can push it a little bit more. I have to dictate where the roots are at. So if I can get this in and to be held up just like that with the soil. Now let me get my scissors and hold it up. And where did I put my Azus right here? I'm going to get it on the roots real good. we got to give this little plant uh, a fighting chance to, to grow. Yep, almost out. I'm going to give it a good shot. There we go. Just like that. And then 
take it, put our shears on the side, and just move it. We got it pretty well centered. I'm just going to put the soil on there just to hold it in and get the roots flat, just like that. I'll get my smaller measuring cup. I got these, the small cup, I couldn't find any place else, but it's got a good little handle on it to put the soil in those tight spaces, and we got that at Walmart. It was only like a buck and a quarter or something like that. That's pretty good. So we got some movement in the trunk going this way and coming up for the front, but it doesn't matter which way the front is on this because it's still young and it's still growing. So right now all I'm going to do is take my bamboo skewer and just gently poke it into the fragile root system there. Just like that. Let me get a little more of the soil. And just put it in. Now it's leaning to the side. I don't know if you can see it, it leans this way, but then it comes back up this way. So let's give it a shot that way. Ain't gonna hurt. Let's see how it develops and if it grows. Right now I'm gonna take some of the soil tension out so I can water it in good. Now the Christmas pot's going to go outside if this survives the winter months in the basement. We'll get Mr. Elephant and give it a good watering in. And this stuff drains really nice. There we go. Just like that. Now we can dress it up a bit. I got this on sale at, uh, I don't know if it was Michael's or uh, Hobby Lobby, I forget, but they're sitting out having their hot chocolate. So we can always put them here sitting in front of the tree, something like this, just like that, and maybe a, a little rock to hold it in. And let's see if our little poinsettia will grow. And I'll see if I can root these cuttings, but what I, I would have to take this off. I still have the old pot from the other one, and I can put some soil on there, and I can put them in and see if I can root them. But we'll try that out. I'll, either that or I got a lot of these, uh, let's see if you can see it, styrofoam cups. This one's got a hole in it from practicing for the mangrove, but I got plenty of these. I can put these in there, put the soil in there, and see if they'll root. I think I'll try vermiculite this time, let's see what happens. So that's my little video. Stay warm. It's Wednesday night. Try to get, get your, uh, go through your, a lot of catalogs coming in the mail for me. I like uh, low G's. They got some good tropical trees in there. They got uh, a cocoa tree where you can make your own chocolate. And they got all kinds of good stuff in there. So I'm going to thumb through that catalog tonight and have a nice hot cup of tea. Stay warm. Take the chill out of the bones. <laughs> Relax. Put on some uh, light music from the big band era and just sit back with her and relax with a cup of tea and go through my catalogs. This is the time of year to do it. So take care everybody. Have a nice night. Stay warm for those of you with the cold weather like we got here and have a good night and take care and enjoy a nice hot cup of tea tonight because that'll take the chill out of the bones. Have a good one everybody.